Well, I'm at uh, an area of Shepparton called Orvale, which is uh, only in the last hour or so there's been an emergency warning put out uh, for, the, for residents in this area to evacuate immediately. You can see behind me the, the broken river, which is flowing, uh, flowing through. It's, it's come over the road here and uh, it's getting up pretty close to um, a lot of houses in this area. There's 50,000 people in Shepparton and there's about three at least major areas of the town that, are, are, uh, that border either the broken river, which flows into the Goulburn River uh, not far downstream from where I am now so uh, there's areas along both those rivers that are uh, a bit of a concern particularly Orvale first uh, but there's other areas and particularly northern Shepparton along the Goulburn River that are a uh, concern over the next uh, few days or so and so there has been people have known this has been coming it's the flood that was in Seymour yesterday all that water is rushing down the Goulburn River uh, towards Murchison and uh, and Shepparton uh, it's expected to peak in Shepparton on Tuesday at about 12 metres or so, which is uh, right on the, about the level of the 1974 floods that a lot of people around here talk about. And if it gets to that level, there will be uh, dozens, if not hundreds of homes that have some sort of some sort of flooding. So there's been a lot of preparation going on in Shepparton today, uh, sandbagging. The local showgrounds is a big... There's uh, defence force personnel at the local showgrounds there uh, helping out with sandbags. And I spoke to people who'd waited in, in, in their cars... Uh, for two hours in the queue to to get up and and get their sandbags so they can they can go and protect uh, protect their homes and uh, we spoke to the, the mayor of Shepparton earlier today. Over the course of the last two years, we've been through a fair bit, and especially here in Greater Shepparton, we'll dealt it a significant blow with the COVID aspect. So this community is really resilient. We support each other. Obviously, with floods, it doesn't necessarily affect everyone in particular our region here there's a significant portion of the community that will be impacted but there's also a large number of others that won't be so what we're asking is to balance that support offer some assistance to those that may require um, you know some housing over the course of the next week or so or just the ability to get sandbags and sandbag properties as well Shane Sully there now Danny you mentioned Murchison just take us through what's happening there that's right. Yeah, that's a bit... Murchison's a little bit further south from Shepparton. It's a relatively small town on the Goulburn River. There's been an, an emergency warning in place there for quite for the last 24 hours or so for people to, to evacuate. Uh, earlier today, they, uh, they were told, the town was told, though, that if you hadn't evacuated by now, it was too late to leave as the Goulburn River peaks there. So that's, uh, that's a peak, I believe, later today. And so, uh, yeah, real concerns for, for people in, uh, in Murchison there. There's already people who've, um, who've been in particularly in the caravan park who've had uh, had vans and, and and cabins flooded uh, flooded yesterday so quite a few, few people have had to get out of Murchison uh, as the flood waters rise there and that water is heading towards Shepparton and uh, as I mentioned the the peak uh, is on Tuesday but uh, even in the next couple of days areas like this one are, are uh, in Orvale uh, really started to experience that that water rising up and, and pushing in towards uh, towards many hundreds of houses.